so today I'm going to be doing a little review for you guys from another awesome thing that I got from Flatiron Experts. I already did a review on the KQC Flatiron that I showed you guys and now I'm going to do a review on a curling iron that I was sent and it's the Tourmaline 500. Yeah. I'm tripping over my own wires. Do you guys see that? Oh my goodness. Okay. So this is what the box looked like and it's the Baby Bliss or Baby Bliss. I don't know how you say this. Baby Bliss. I don't know. Pro TT um, Professional Curling Iron and it's Tourmaline 500. That's what it's called. And it is a one and a half inch curling iron. This is the barrel one and a half inch. You guys have seen me use one and a half inch curling irons before. And um, usually I use like a Conair one, which is, you know, pretty cheap. But this is the one that I use. And this was sent to me, like I said, from Flatiron Experts. And basically it has, um, I don't know how you say this. If I'm saying it wrong, I'm sorry, but it's tourmaline or tour, I don't know, tourmaline. I'm just going to say tourmaline. Tourmaline ceramic plate. So this is ceramic um, and it's red, like the KQC one that I used, to, that I used for my flat iron. Okay. And it's a red ceramic plate here. And I don't know how to tell you what else is on this box. But now I'm just going to talk about it. So, um, first of all, the heat setting thing is right here. Now this is really cool because what you do is you can press the button and it will, you know, it usually comes unlocked. So you're going to press it and you can adjust it to whatever setting you want. See, I'm just turning it and adjusting it. And then you can just, you get the setting that you want and you click it back in place and now it's good to go. So then you're going to press this button over here, which is the on and off button, and I will turn it on and off. Okay, but I haven't plugged it in, so I'm going to plug it in and I'm going to show you guys because I have some pieces that I feel like I didn't curl completely. Okay, so I just want to give you guys kind of like a close up. So you press it, adjust it, turning it. This is the lowest setting is 1, and the highest setting is 40, and I keep it on 40. And then you click it to keep it back in place, and then over here on this side is the on and off button. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and plug this bad boy in. Like that. Turn it on. And I'll tell you guys how fast this heats up. So let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. It's starting to get warmer at eighteen. 20, 21, 22, 23, it's hot, 24, 25, ah, it's unbearable, <laughs> it's unbearable at 25. Okay, it's not unbearable, but it's pretty freaking hot. So 25 seconds, it took this bad boy to heat up, and it's hot. So, ow. Um, now I'm going to show you guys just how well it curls. So here is my little piece of hair, which is already kind of curled, but not completely. Now what I do, of course, is I spray my heat protectant all up in my hair. I already sprayed this. I can spray a little bit more because I can have it as a shine spray. But I spray that in my hair, and then I start to actually do my hair. So I'm going to curl it like this. And I'm just going to leave it there 5, 10 seconds, however long you want. We'll do 10 seconds. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5... Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So there's ten seconds right there. You got yourself a really nice curl. Now you have to understand that since this is a big barrel, it's one and a half inch, it's not going to give you curly curls. It's going to give you these like wavy curls depending on how long or short your hair is. If your hair is short, you'll probably get more voluminous kind of thing. Um, going to be really voluminous, you know, you're going to like curl it and it's going to be like a big, nice curl of volume. If your hair is, um, you know, like my length, you're going to get this look because I curled my hair today with this curling iron all over. Um, if your hair is a little bit longer, you're probably going to get really nice waves. So it just all depends. Sorry, I saw some unstraight, or I saw some uncurled pieces. But anyways, um, as a pro and con to this, the only thing that I don't like about this is that it does get really hot. Now that's, you're thinking, well, Heather, that should be a good thing. You want a really hot curling iron. But no, like, I don't know about you guys, but I know when I curl my hair, like, I'm going to touch this one because it's not hot. When I curl my hair, I like to use this as, I'm dropping stuff. I like to use this when, like, say I'm putting this on my hair. I like to use this as, like, a holder, you know, like, I like to hold it. 
Well, with this, this all gets hot, but so does this little black piece right there. And so as I'm trying to curl my hair and I want to hold this, you can't. And I don't know if that's just a downfall to me or if it's a downfall to all of you guys. I don't know. Some of you guys don't need this when you're curling hair. Some of you guys do. I need it because I just, I don't know. I feel like I have better grasp of the hair. And that kind of sucks when I can't hold on to this. But, I mean, if you don't really care if you, about burning your fingers here and there or if you want to wear a little mitt, those heat mitts, you can do that to do your hair. Um, me, I kind of just, like, do it really fast. Try not to touch it. Do it really fast. Try not to touch it. Um, but that could be the only bad thing that I see about this. Other than that, um, it doesn't make my hair frizzy or anything. This part was already frizzy because I had kind of teased it, but let me kind of comb it down and show you guys again. Ooh. Okay, see, now I can't even grab it. <laughs> but yeah, so just like the flat iron that I showed you guys, um, it doesn't make your hair frizzy, and it does add a little bit of shine to it. Do you guys see that? Yeah. Okay, well, so that's basically that. That's the only con I have about it. Basically, other than that, I love this curling iron. It's an awesome curling iron. Um, and that's pretty much it. Don't really have much to say. You can't really say too much. I mean, I guess it just shows in the results. This is the results. This is my hair done with this curling iron. So um, FTC, I was given this for free. I'm not being paid to promote this company. I am just asked to give my honest review, so if you guys want to see my completely full review, this is a full review, but if you guys are more into, you want to read a little bit, go to my blog, it'll be down there in my blog as well. Um, other than that, if this is a good enough review for you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I hope you have a nice day. Bye, YouTube.